the Tassels 200,000 three-year-old trophy this time and a 10 furlong listed race top one Dowitz and Mella, Thomas Rogers Dons Watches Steve Rand Sand City Servant David Hooley Son of Exile Leon Van Rensburg Temple of the King Martin Lidham Absolutely Coasting Satyam Disco Ticket Ryan Tamaselli Escape Zanada Alex Cherry Francesca Kamali Dan Dan Hughes Give Us a Break Graham Clutterbuck Jacobino Lira R. McClure Legend of Zubo Joshua Sutherland Nine Fearful Alex Ince Peggy's Play Steve Rand Perfect Storm Obi One Plimsoll Nusha James Shea Rise All Star Thomas Rogers and she's a cracker for Satyam. What's the field then? Ten furlongs the trip, all installed and all out the stores. A little bit slow there was the Steve Ran horse, but nothing too serious as they sorted themselves out. Then who's going to take it up? It looks like Joshua Sutherland's horse over on the far side. Legend of Zubo is going to make a break for the lead, but it's as usual a Satyam one. I think it's she's a cracker that's gone through to take it up. So she's a cracker in the lead then from Legend of Zubo and Perfect Storm, then Nine Fur, and then Dawitz Emmer and San City Servant. Peggy's players with Francesca Cumali and Jacobina Lira looking towards the back rise all star. He's just the back marker at this stage and they're already well into the final mile then and she's a cracker being pressed by Legend of Zubo then Perfect Storm and Nine Foot after that one and then comes Darwitz and Mella and Sun City Servant and Jessica Kamari is getting a little bit closer and then Jacobina Lira towards the back of the field Rise All Star still just the tail end Charlie but Legend of Zubo He's disputing the lead with She's a Cracker on the inside. And then Perfect Storm sitting nicely in third. Nine furries after that one. And then comes San City Servant and Darwitz and Mella. Peggy's play is wide on the track trying to get into it. Another one that's wide and trying to come through is Plymouth Nuisha. And also Disco Ticket. But at the business end of the race, they can see that Leon van Rensburg horse, Song of Exile, bursting through and suddenly got absolutely nowhere to go. Jockey's run it straight into a pocket. And she's a cracker, is the one holding it at the moment. Now begins to try and edge it out in between that one and Legend of Zubo. But it's she's a cracker now being pressed by Song of Exile. Legend of Zubo is third. Another one now running itself into a bit of a dead end. Is Jacobina Lira. One or two questionable jockey decisions here. But Song of Exile seems to have got away with it. Two furlongs to go. And Song of Exile is in the lead and clear by about two lengths. Now the one up the centre of the track right now, the biggest challenge is Pimson Nusha. One or two trying to get into it. Disco Ticket trying to get into it as well. Legend of Zumo's trying to fight back the inside the final furlong now. And Song of Exile has gone for home and is clearing the lead. Finishing best of all this Disco Ticket. Disco Ticket's finishing really well. Also, Dons watches the Greys coming through the late swoop and the Josh Watts of the Lynn Horse. Listen to Zumo, he's fighting back, but at the post, it's just Song of Exile, probably. I'm not 100% sure the angle's deceptive here and. Legend of Zubo was eating up the ground and Song of Exile was hanging on and just hanging on. I think Francesca Kamali also finishing like a train on the outside. Be careful what I say there. And Song of Exile is the winner. Song of Exile for Leon Van Rensburg takes it. Legend of Zubo second for Joshua Sutherland. Don's watches for Steve Round third. Francesca Kamali for Dan Hughes was fourth. And Disco Ticket for Ryan Tamasebi was fifth.